In this video, we are going to study simple linear regression in Python using Spider IDE. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into Spider IDE. So the first step within the video is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, step one, which we're commenting here is packages. So first we're going to import statsmodels.api as sm. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.api as smf. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for our linear regression calculation. And then we're going to import seaborn as s and s so we're importing seaborn for the corresponding chart to run these code lines we go ahead select them and then we click the run selection button so then we continue with step number two which is data for this we create an object name house prices underscore object equals to sm feature from stats models dot data sets dot get underscore r dataset and we open parenthesis the first parameter from this function is data name equals to and within quotations house prices comma we press enter on the keyboard and we have package equals to and within quotations aer comma cash equals to true so what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cache true we means that we are saving that data locally so we don't need to download it again every time we run the code. So this will save data and documentation within house prices object. So at the following row we create a new object named house prices only for the data therefore equals to house prices underscore object and we get its data attribute. So to run these code lines again we select them and then we click the run selection button. So if we go into the variable explorer we see the two objects being created house prices and then house prices object house prices with the data and then house prices object with data and documentation. So if we double click on the cell of house prices data This opens the window with the data. For this video, we'll only be focusing on the first two columns of data of price and lot size. If you want to read the full documentation on this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print and we open parenthesis house prices underscore object and we get its point two underscores doc two underscores attribute. So with that, we get its documentation attribute. So at any part of the code line, we go ahead and click the run selection button. And as we'll see right here within the console, we have the full documentation. So we go ahead and scroll up to the beginning. And there we have house prices are documentation. And let's go back and scroll to the end. And we continue with step number three, which is the chart. This will be using Seaborn, therefore S and S, and it's REG plot function for regression plot. So we open parentheses, and the first parameter is X. X is the horizontal axis with the independent or explanatory variable, therefore equals to, and within quotations, lot size, comma. Y, which is the vertical axis with the dependent or explained variable, equals to and within quotations price therefore here we'll have scatter chart of price being explained by lot size comma data equals to the house house prices object we create above comma ci equals to none meaning that we want the regression line not to have a confidence interval comma and because 
Seaborn's scatter chart has both the points and the regression line colored in blue, we want to modify the color of the regression line. And we do so with line underscore kws equals 2. And within Kirby brackets, we have with quotations color outside of the quotation semicolon red. So let's go ahead and select these two lines and then we click the run selection bar. So we'll see the chart right here within the console. There we are, and also within the plot tab. So there we have the scatter chart in which we have price on the vertical axis being explained by lot size on the horizontal axis. Therefore, we have the scatter charts point, points in blue, and on top of them as an overlay colored in red, we have the simple linear regression line. So then we continue with step number four, which is the model. Before coding the model, we're going to comment the regression equation, which is hat price equals to hat beta zero plus hat beta one. which is multiplied by lot size. So we have all these hats here because they are estimates. Therefore, this equation reads as the estimated price, which is equal to the estimated beta zero coefficient or the estimated constant or intercept, plus the estimated beta one coefficient or the estimated slope coefficient multiplied by lot size. So we press enter on the keyboard and now we code the model, which is we create the object name SLR, which stands for simple linear regression equals to SMF feature from statsmodels.ols, which is ordinary least squares function, we open parenthesis. Formula parameter, which is equal to and with quotations, price, and with this special character means explained by lot size. Comma, data equals to the house prices object we created above, and then we fit this regression. And then we want to print the estimates of the coefficients. Therefore, we print, and within that SLR object, we get its parents parameter. So to run these two lines again, we select them, and we click Run Selection Bottom. So as we can see within the console, it printed, calculated the regression, and then printed the estimates for the coefficients. The first of these estimates is the estimate for beta zero or the estimate for the constant or intercept. And below, we have the estimate for the beta one coefficient, which is the estimate of the slope coefficient. Therefore, first we have the estimate of beta zero coefficient or the estimate for the constant or intercept, which is the estimated price when lot size is equal to zero. And below, we have the estimate for the beta one coefficient or the estimate of the slope coefficient, which is the estimated change in price when lot size changes in one unit. Okay, so now that we finish with the code, we go ahead and save it. And with this, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.